hey you guys welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by today i will be doing my niece's hair and as you can see how her hair looked back in 2020 so we are going to be doing some marley twist on her locks if you're not already following me make sure you do at nadianice.hair on instagram so of course, all my services start with a good wash and condition, and then I'm gonna use my Carib Roots Oil on her scalp and massage that into her locks and into her scalp. So as you can see, we're getting right into the retwist. For this style in particular, all I have to do is do a simple retwist on all of her locks before I start the Marley twist. I love to use these black strips just to tie around the edges of her locks to keep all the hairs in place as she goes under the dryer. After the dryer, I love spraying this uh, Mango Supreme oil onto my client's locks. This product is by Zaydella Essentials. Um, you can go to their website and look how clean and crisp this retwist turned out. I love it. I love it just as it is. So next I'm just gonna do some barrel rolls in the front and they will turn into Bantu knots at the end. I was feeling very nostalgic when I was doing this style. I had this, I had the Marley twist in mind, but um, I don't know. I just love, I just miss that like early 2000s. Remember like the butterfly clips? I had that style in mind. I would get like flat twists with butterfly clips, little, um, band two knots at the end of my flat twist so this is kind of um, reminiscent of that and you'll see in a second once i'm done with the barrel rolls i will be doing uh band two knots Now I hardly ever put color in my niece's hair when I'm doing their hair, but baby, I did not have time to go to the beauty supply store, so we was gonna work with what we had. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I had some purple too, but I didn't use it. This time we just rocked out with the black and the red, and I think it turned out beautifully. And I just wanna say real quick, Initially, I was just gonna do Bantu knots using her natural hair, but I didn't, I wanted it all to tie in. I wanted the twist to tie in with the Bantu knots. So that's why I added the hair and we kind of wrapped it around the Bantu knots. I was just looking for a more cohesive style. Lastly, I just added on these gold cuffs or lock jewelry onto her uh, barrel rolls and it just tied it all in together. The style came out so, beautifully she looks like a little princess i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful 
Thanks so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video with anyone and everyone you know. Until next time, bye guys.